All right, welcome back to your balanced diet of Teletainment. Now, time to meet our cadet guests in the house, and that's still the election season. And definitely, we're going to bring them one, one by each inside the studio to let us know the plans where they get for Nigerians and also for their constituency. And we get one cadet person inside the house. In the uh, um, um, first way to come outside to actually um, talk, say, in one run for the legal state of House of Assembly um, under the party of the Alliance for a New Nigeria. German, welcome. Balogun wrote to me on Latubosu inside the house. Good to have you. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, all right. Now, um, first of all, I just been to ask you behind behind the scene. Now, we don't say you could do uh, you could do local government divided into you could do um, constituency one and two. Yes, uh, if you just quickly, you know, explain to the people where they watch and to all of us say, uh, you know, how would be the difference? You could do constituency one and constituency two. Okay, you could do constituency one. Um, it consists of um, the west, the central, and the north, mm -hmm. and that area get about eleven wards. Why you could do constituency two? Consists of the south and the east. That area get nine uh, wards. Okay. Which all the polling votes fall under. Okay. And you, they come out for which? Oh, yeah, they come out for Ikorudu Constituency 1. Okay. All right. Now, for Ikorudu Constituency 1, now make I make I quickly ask, is this your, now the first time where you take any shot at politics, Minis? Yes, so now the first time where they take at any shot at the politics. Yeah, and why, why you decide, say, time well, knowledge, make you um, take over? I just, this is like a divine call because I just see how this country is being run. It's not been so pleasant to everybody. They run this country as if we no get people who get uh, uh, talents or people who turn this country around. We they see other countries how they, they do them now. It they make me shame. Say ah, ah, a whole country like this, we they produce first class graduate here, we they produce professor here, we get different type of professor. That like, even pay me say some of our professors no people do not, and we say we they give them professor of this, professor of that. But this same professor, if you take and go outside there, he, they, they go, they perform as if one magic day there. So why, which thing make us get to this point? Eh? We are allowed non entity to hijack politics. If I tell you today, if they won't do rally, I will tell you all the intellectuals, all of them go to the office. Now all those sweet uh, talks and hoodlums, uh, 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 now them go enter them, before they, they, they give them position to determine what happened to our life in the office. It don't make sense. We don't be continuing like this. Now, what you make me decide, say, me to make I won't come outside. Eh? The way I don't run my private business, where they successful, let's put it in governance. Because with the little resources we'll get there, we they perform. Talk about the plenty of resources we'll get for uh, uh, the country. We know they see any performance. Rather on a failure, failure, failure. We cannot sit down and be watching. So that. Like, Okay. Now I make us say make we come out. Okay, now you don't All say right. the way you don't write, run your private business, sorry. What's going be your private business? And, and how you feel, say, uh, <coughs> if you use the success where you don't get from private business, still relate them to being successful in politics right now? Well, my private business started from so many angles. Mm -hmm. How I started was from a low end, and today we've got into an high end. I started with a cleaning firm. I started business with 10,000 naira. That 10,000 naira. He don't bump picking, bump picking, bump picking, say, they don't enter millions of naira. I don't employ so many graduates on that same business. We don't diversify, come up on that business. Enter real estate management and uh, 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 sales. By God's grace, this same business don't make so many young, young men, more than eight of them, don't break out, go build, start their own businesses, employ people. I have the records, and people will know me know how well I have impacted in so many young people's life. From this business, I started the business 2010 till this point. Now they get this result. So with this knowledge, what you get about business now, because you know that for every constituency and for every state, one of the major problems that they face as regards to the youth now unemployment. Now, yes. how you go to it, because I know one of your agenda now to create 5,000 jobs for people for inside Ikorodu constituency one. Yes. What in the big plans where you get on ground to do that? Now, the plan where we get on ground to do that is, most of the children in the Kurudu, they are not enlightened. They are not exposed. First of all, we want to start from grassroots. And what is the grassroots level? Yes, you go to open vocational studio. I don't say no good though. A lot of vocational study they here and there, but please, make we go and enroll one child there. You go no say you are expensive like private university too. Because even you paying the fees, send the child there. So what we now decide to do in Kurudu constraints one. The woman that sold my native, now one woman went there by the roadside of the house, went trained by the neighbor 
or one uh, 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 tailor uh, woman with trainer. So what we want to do is say, those children when they buy our sweets, when they finish secondary school, we when well, they try to finish, we go send a, a message to them. Anybody who want to learn and work, we want to make a list myself. The three, uh, woman when they say they do uh, uh, tailoring, the woman they want association because they form association here and there. That association won't engage them. Please, what could I give us the best hand I get? These children, we will want you to train them how much will it cost for us to train them, which at the end of the day, that's what most people are doing. Now, for we to ensure that we're giving the best certified uh, 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 tailor, what do we do? There's this great test. These things, they don't throw away for Bush long ago. Yeah, the way we can take these people, go do great test. It's like driver license. As you won't get driver license. When you take them to the institute, they train the police, ah, this one does have so. Oh, yeah, so Buba, so uh, Ankara, um, uh, tough for us. When they show and where we're, we know, okay, this one is grade one, this one is grade two. We will give them those certificates. From there, we can hand over those children to them to train. Now, those children might gain admission, enter university or polytechnic. Do you know when they enter, they don't get hand work. When they go, they take do it in so close for their mates. For neighbor of their house, they are brought away one so small club, they go collect them, so that they earn something. When the one with Baba, we don't learn Baba, if you reach school, he bab one or two people where they say it's a bab. He don't, he into the end from there. So those are things we want to, the problem we have in this country, until we start lifting those small, small children, where they did down, up, there's no way. And the way we want to get funding, yes, the constituency will fund from the constituency allowance, but in my Korodu constituency one, we have over 70 big, big companies there. Dangote, mm. Flower, uh, this thing, they there. Now, what if they are CSR to the society there? The crime rate, they're, they're very high because of waiting. They abandon all these things. Some people go just go in the name of, say, yes, uh, Namibi, Bali, Namibi, this, go collect money, where no get where the people are as account. If those people donate into these children's lives, okay, donate one million, when did they graduate? More, we don't want the money, more than people have on their account. Make we use the money to buy equipment, start up kits for these children. I am telling you, we go change a lot of things from the grassroots. Okay. Uh, good thing we just mentioned crime rate because now the next question where they go with that. <clears throat> Sometime last year, in the early part of last year, stroke mid last year, we've been hearing a lot of uh, criminal activities we've been having for inside the Korodu, a lot of badness, a lot of kidnapping uh, towards that particular area, yes. you know, a lot of issues for inside the Korodu. Uh, what do you feel, 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 say you feel do to support the state government and then, of course, to boost, you know, um, security? For inside, uh, um, your now, what I notice about the Korodu <coughs> children, <coughs> eh, even my area, where did they do this iron ore, I notice a small, small children of 11, 15, 20, go see now that they push a trailer, they climb, they, they look for the scrap to throw down. Now, to help the security apparatus <coughs> of the Korodu, we need to introduce sporting activities. Sporting activities? Yes. We need to do them periodically, even talent hunts. For example, there are some children with Sabi draw. Mm. If we put up that 200,000 naira down, so yeah, all the children in the construction say, oh yeah, Mona can't draw, divide them. You will see everybody will be looking forward to that time. People will they learn how to do this thing. This sport is like football. Let's run tournaments. Let's channel these children's energy into productive use. For example, now, if this team play, win, the other team too, they get up. Those period really they train. It will come out their mind for vices because like when they look at them, they go, they look forward to win the trophy. So they will really form themselves and be able to uh, uh, get things done. Now, in terms of security, most of the children they cost in security, they're not poverty. Poverty, like I they talk to you, some of them don't know what they go chop the next minute. Mm. If you give them 500 there, if you see the way they go, they, they do you as if you belong God. Now, poverty. When you, they, and the problem is they, they don't really open their eye. For a Korodu, he blessed he could go, no, they Lagos. If you really come, there's no governance in the Korodu. In our, in our inner roads are as worse as any uh, area you see in the interland. Mm. So why are we deceiving ourselves? Government has to bring their presence there. That is why we are here to make a voice for them. You know what I don't discover, say, a lot, of, a lot of people don't even know who they actually represent their constituency in the house. Now, what thing you go do to make yourself known and also to show, say, come on, me and a person where we say, I get better accountability on top of everything where I put my hand inside and I'm very transparent. 
Yes. Well, um, so far in our campaign, I don't they do door to door campaign physically. I don't visit a lot of people, give them my contacts. Then they surprise her. Ah, since when they start this, they, they say they, are, they never will know their constituency uh, 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 representative. They don't know their constituency, who they represent them. That is the first time I, they go see their honorable self when they come. Come say one show face, see them. They won't know their problem. Many of them they relate. Many of them don't get our number. Some of them self we don't we engage them for one or two little two things like training is what we do recently in terms of how to do soap, <coughs> how to do cream. We don't engage them. So we are trying to see how well we can come down to every one of them. Not be all the siren, whoa, 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 they blow mm. up and down. They scare these people who are supposed to help. But when you reach four years' time, you go come back again, come meet them, give them T-shirts, give them rice. Every four years, the same thing, they happen. It doesn't work like that. We should support who will be with us for the next, that's every day, not before years. Every day we go, we go around the constituency together. All right. Now, one quick question I want to ask uh, before we round up. Um, uh, we know, say, last day, if you come to Lagos, you talk, say, I want to buy land, I want to build house. A lot of people, they point to Korodu. Yes, uh, meaning, say, um, when it comes to accommodation, a lot of people, they go towards that particular side, yes. the Korodu. And as a matter of fact, we get many people where they work for island, where they live for as far as the Korodu, where yes, they come sir. this way. Yes, now, being the fact, a lot of people, they build houses, a lot of, but we still they see the, the difference in the kind of accommodation where people they live in. And still, we still get lack of accommodation inside the Korodu, without a doubt. So what do you feel so you feel do to help the accommodation situation in the Korodu, whether now purchase of land, leasing of land, the, uh, renting of houses, and then the standard of the kind of houses where people they live for inside the Korodu? Well, the, the, the beauty about the Korodu is that it's a dry land. Mm. The money you go take build for Lekki, eh? mm. you go build three houses for the Korodu. Three big upstairs. So what we the thing to do, we say, we have to engage the mortgage. Yes, they might not have a good stream of income, mm -hmm. but there's a way we could structure it, whereby instead of the thing where they kill Nigerians, now this catch and carry. So uh, the way we they want to say they are uh, 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 low income, and, uh, some people still when they get business, where they bring them down 500, mm -hmm. 600,000 uh, in a year. So out of that money, if you set aside 200,000, they service your mortgage because they are paying rent. Mm -hmm. And that rent, whether they pay, they go pay. So why don't you channel it to rent to own indirectly? Because if the mortgage fee come in, put the money down, they build. Because if you want build for a Korodu, as low as two, three million, you go build also for a Korodu. As low as this, you go see land of 500, 300,000, 200,000 for a Korodu. So definitely, if we do it like that, at least 60 to 70 percent go they sure say yes, they get their home. Instead of me, they go rent other people as they pay, they go just use that rent, they do it in the service, their loan. If they give them 10 years to 20 years, they go not pay down. Because I know Nigerians. You know what, in as much as, my last question, in as much as say people, they actually go, they go build a house. People, they actually build their house there and neglect them. They're not they even um, stay inside them because of the conditions of the Korodu. Um, I get one solution okay. for that problem. And the solution, no pass. You see this waterway. Why people, they run away from the water? I follow and come this morning. I don't they follow for 10 years. I get very popular for that place. We get a major problem. And the major problem is, Government is waiting for PPP uh, participation. But it no go work like that. The government has to still try to stick their neck out small. Like, for example, we have a uh, BOI, Bank of Industry. That place now one industry on its own. It employs thousands of youth. At least for one ferry boat, now two people, they did there. One for front, one for back. So if we talk to BOI, may BOI come, release some fund for these people. In the terminal there, they go build a small microfinance bank whereby, like those people, they collect the money from passenger. They don't agree the money, they go, they go, they remit because those people, you know, we leave them in the car, money goes, come back, story if you enter. So you go come out the money where you don't give them as loan. If not five years, if not ten years, you take, provide a nice boat for them. Immediately they go pay, they, they pay, they pay the money for canton here, and they, they upset their debts. Within 10, 15, even less than five years, they go pay back. Because I know that if you won't go, come, we the end of 700, 800, sometimes 1,000. Mm -hmm. And you go carry about 20 something passenger. You know how much it is. Mm -hmm. So there's no, if person they save 5,000 out of that money every day, 
in a month, if they provide a boat for, uh, boat for you for uh, 10 million or 8 million, in almost five years, you will clear that debt. And because the boat is a new one, mm. you know, go down, start to develop fort. Right. Thank you so much, sir. You enter inside our house um, to talk to us about your plans for Ikorodo Constituency Thank 1. You, we will they talk with Balogun Rotimi or Latubonsu, where they actually go, um, they vie for the position of a member for inside the Lagos State House of Assembly. Thank you again. You're welcome. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.